In this tutorial, we will do a deeper dive into the Struts2 web application framework. We will review what exactly is a framework in the context of web applications. Then we will examine the technology stack on which Struts2 is built and what Struts provides us as Java developers. We will look at the history of the Struts framework starting at the first release of Struts 1. We will revisit the MVC pattern as is used by Struts 2 and how it was improved upon from Struts 1. Finally, we will look at the advantages of using Struts 2. What is Struts? A web application framework that is a reusable architecture that allows you to solve common tasks. It provides us with rendering the presentation layer through the web UI components, also known as tags. It also provides us with data binding and data validation out of the box. And it encapsulates calls to the business logic and the data persistence layer. The Struts framework straddles the Java servlet specification which in turn provides us with technologies such as Java Server Pages, JSTL, Java Servlets, object-oriented abstraction classes such as the Request and Response object, as well as the Session object. This layer also requires a managed container for hosting web applications in the WAR archive format and provides management or callback functions to the servlets and web applications. Examples of containers are Tomcats, which is the one we will use. There's also IBM WebSphere, Oracle Glassfish, JBoss Wildfly, Oracle WebLogic, and many more. The Java servlet specification, in turn, is layered on top of the standard web hypertext transfer protocol, which is a stateless and text-based protocol that was not designed for complex client-server applications. So instead of having to write your own Java programs to deal with HTTP concepts such as get, post, put, or delete, the Java servlet and request and response Java classes already provides us with those. And we also got a way to manage state with the session object. This slide shows the history of the open source development of the Struts2 web application framework. Struts1 is based on the MVC pattern. It was one of the first and most widely adopted Java web application frameworks back in the early 2000s. Struts1 was designed in the era of desktops before smartphones, tablets, and the Internet of Things, when a web application meant an application that you access on a huge desktop monitor. More than half of the global Fortune 500 companies still have Struts1 use today. Now, Struts2 was and still is a complete rewrite and retooling of Struts1 for the modern web era. The rewrite also made use of the architectural lessons learned from Struts1. Other MVC frameworks such as Java Server Faces and Spring MVC came after Struts1. Struts informed most of the Java-based MVC frameworks out there. We can say that Struts is the grandfather of all modern Java web application frameworks. A quick revisit of our Struts2 architecture and a look at the location of the major changes. Starting with the web clients, we have a call to the Struts2 controller servlet. The controller servlet is a filter controller servlet, which is a Java singleton servlet. This servlet makes use of the Struts config XML file in Struts, where you define the workflow of your web app, or you can use Java annotations. We will use XML because it is a better and more verbose teaching tool, and it separates the configuration from the code. In Struts2, the model action class was rewritten from a singleton to a multi-threaded object for better scaling 
and binding to property variables in the action objects from the web UI tags. The web client tags from the forms had no binding by the framework in struts1 and you actually had to code a heavy form object. Data binding in struts2 is automatic thanks to OGNL and value stack magic. For database interaction, you can use JDBC, Spring, JPA, or your choice, since data access is not an exclusive web application framework domain. Now, the view can easily be used by modern client side JavaScript frameworks such as Bootstrap and jQuery, or just plain JSON objects. After the controller filter has been called, this diagram shows the request processing workflow. The stack of interceptors are invoked before and after the action. This is where we perform cross cutting concerns such as logging, data validation, or data transfer. The value stack is a storage area for application data to be used during the processing of a request. OGNL is an expression language that is used for accessing and manipulating the data on the value stack. The action context contains all the data of the action within the thread of execution, also known as thread local. Normally you will use OGNL to access these data elements in the execution thread. An important piece of struts history here, the struts hack. In September 2017, Equifax disclosed that a failure to patch one of its internet servers against the Struts vulnerability exposed personal data on 147 million Americans. On August 22, 2017, the Apache Software Foundation released software updates to fix a critical vulnerability in Apache Struts. The vulnerability affects all supported versions of Struts 2. Users of Struts 2.5 should upgrade to 2.5.1.7. This is a good reminder to always patch and always upgrade. Reasons to learn Struts 2. It is a modern framework with the source code available in GitHub. Second, Struts 2 provide us with UI tags for our own use in the presentation layer. But we are not tied to use it. We can swap it out for other presentation frameworks or non-UI presentations using web services. Third, Struts 2 is still in use today by more than half of the Fortune 500 companies. And finally, you've got 20 years of learning, improving and retooling that comes with the Struts framework. Struts 2 resources. The Struts2 homepage is your go-to resource for all Struts-related information. It is also the go-to for security-related announcements. This course will cover Struts2, which is a rewrite of Struts1. So if you have to maintain or write a Struts1 app, you will probably find the old Struts1 archive documentation on the Apache Struts website.